good day everyone we are the Temis group and today we will going to show a video presentation about taking the CPA licensure examination different tips from the CPALI takers how we change our study habits when we decided to take it and how this law subject practicable in our life as a student how is this Republic Act 3591 or the Philippine Deposit Insurance Corporation Law and Republic Act 1405 or the Secrecy of Bank Deposits practicable in your life as a student and as a future certified public accountant? So, these subjects will be practicable to my life as a student in a way of having adequate knowledge about the purposes of insurances, deposits, and as well as the exceptions of these acts. So, these acts require thorough understanding and familiarization, and this will be helpful in practicing my profession as a future certified public accountant because I will have advanced knowledge on the PDIC and secrecy of bank deposits. Aside from that, this will be beneficial in handling my future clients with concerns to legal issues about their deposits and insurances. If the CIPALA was 5 months from now and I've decided to take it, I will definitely change something in my study habits. Like I will focus more on analyzing the topics and internalizing them deeply rather than trying to solve those just to pass the subject. And on my spare time, I will review the notes and lectures I had during my first and second years and recall what were the topics all about, what were the basic rules in those, and what did I learn from those. Dur while doing this, I will take it seriously. Those are the things that I will change in preparation for Sepale. Because taking that examination is already a step closer to my dream and an opportunity for me to become CPA and have a decent job. That's all. Thank you. Becoming a CPA is not easy. It takes time, determination, patience, and self-control. Certainly, all of us went to many sleepless nights, tons of buckets of tears, and take many pre-board examinations and money. Here are my tips for you when you decided to take the CEPAL. Tip number one, claim it, you will be a CPA. Start thinking that you are a CPA and you are a great person. Tip number two, adopt an effective study habit. Each one of us has different studying styles and you should try to know which methods and techniques work best for you? Tip number three, practice answering problems randomly. Practice questions as if you are taking the actual exam. Tip number four, don't multitask when solving sample exams. Give equal importance to learning the concept and applying them by practicing the questions. Divide your time rationally between study and doing questions. Tip number five, eliminate the wrong answers. Use the mathematical probability to your advantage. Instead of finding the correct answer, eliminate the wrong answer. Tip number six, master financial accounting. Learn from your mistakes, update your notes, and practice, practice, practice for mastery. And tip number seven, always remember who you offer your success. Find out deep in your heart why you really wanted to become a CPA.